Hello, this is Mike at the Stadium in Bay City, Michigan, and today I'm talking about the new contraptions mechanic from Magic the Gathering. So, 10 years ago in 2007, Wizards of the Coast released the Future Sight set, which had cards from the future, including this guy here, Steam Flogger Boss. But he had this unusual ability, if a rigger you control would assemble a contraption, it assembles two contraptions instead. However, in the history of Magic the Gathering up until now, there's been no such thing as a contraption, so we've never known what that meant. And that is all about to change. So, you want to build a contraption? No problem. Follow these four easy steps and you'll be slapping together devious devices in no time. Contraptions start a game in a separate deck called the Contraption Deck. Contraptions look like this. They're all called artifact contraptions. They have no casting cost. They have this uh, see-through through border, and they all have uh, this picture on the back. The contraption deck has three sprockets. I'm gonna use an extra card as my sprockets. So we sprocket one, sprocket two, sprocket three. And we start the game with a counter on sprocket number three. Now there are cards in the, the new Unstable set that talk about assembling contraptions. Like this card says assemble two contraptions, counter target spell, then assemble a contraption, and roll a six-sided die, assemble a number of contraptions equal to the number of, uh, equal to the result. So how do you assemble a contraption? Well you take your shuffled contraption deck and you reveal the top card of your contraption deck then choose one of your sprockets to place it on. So I'm going to place Widget Contraption here on sprocket number one. And then at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a contraption like we do, you move your crank counter one spot. The order is always one, two, three, and then back to one. So I'll move my crank counter to sprocket number one. Then I can crank any number of contraptions that are on that sprocket. So widget contraption is on sprocket number one, so I get to crank it, which says whenever you crank widget contraption, it assembles a contraption. So that ability goes on the stack. If I had more contraptions on sprocket number one, those abilities could also go on the stack if I chose. So in this case, he lets me put one out, and I'll put it on number two. So during my next turn, at the beginning of my next upkeep, I would move to sprocket two, then I could do whatever was on sprocket number two. In this case, whenever you crank gnome ball machine, create two one one colorless gnome artifact creature tokens. So then when that ability resolves, I would get my tokens and continue my turn as normal. So as you play throughout the game, you could end up with many different contraptions on some or all of the sprockets. So that is how contraptions work, we finally know.